Okay, so, no cheating. I will literally show you my first reaction to this unboxing, and it may well be a huge anti-climax. Hello everybody, a very good morning. It's Tuesday morning and you may well think it is almost night time, it's because, or maybe, I mean actually this camera is not too bad. It is so dark outside. It is, I'm just having my morning coffee. It is, seriously, it's a sort of grey, British, London, autumn weather that I hate. But I am dressed for spring. Uh, the reason being, it is so warm. And last night on my show, I was in the studio, I was so hot uh, that I actually think I'm just gonna wear summer clothes into work at the moment because it is really hot and it's very warm outside. I've turned all my heating off. It's just really, really warm. It's weird, but it's so gray. But anyway, I, excuse me. Mm. I am looking forward to today because I'm actually driving out of London because a very, very good friend of mine called Tony McHale, um, Google him. Tony McHale is a television exec. He is the exec or has been the exec on Holby, Casualty. He wrote award-winning episodes for EastEnders. He went to my drama school. He was a little bit ahead of me, so I think he'd left two years before I went there. Um, but I've known him for many, many years. He's employed me loyally. He employs a lot of his friends as actors. A lot of the television I did was through him and his loyalty. Anyway, I'm going down. I haven't seen him for ages. I'm going to see him and his wife, Jan, for lunch. And that's rather nice now. Now that I'm working at night, I can go out to lunch. And um, if it was a beautiful day, I would really enjoy the drive. Although I love driving. I absolutely love driving. What's not to love in the new Mini when I can listen to the radio? So yes, I'm gonna wear a coat, obviously. But before I get going, I wanted to show you the Stella McCartney boots. You need to have watched the previous vlog because um, I got these from Stella McCartney, the store in Mayfair, having tried them on in Selfridges. They didn't have my size. And so I frantically uh, ran to Mayfair and they had my size. So many of you related to this. I said, you know, if there's something I want, I'm like a terrier, I will just get it uh, by whatever means. And so many of you said exactly the same. And others left a comment saying, Joe, there is more to life than a new pair of boots. Is there? Anyway, I thought, I, cause I'm gonna wear them today because they're the sort of boot that goes quite nicely with a maxi dress. So here we go then, my Stella, and I have not tried these on. This is be the first time I have tried them on. I love the fact everything comes in a dust bag because I do truly try to look after my shoes and keep them protected. This is, I love the unwrapping of new, oh my God. They are so beautiful. Um, my friend Michelle, when she watched last week's vlog, uh, she sent me a text going, oh my God, Joe, I tried on exactly the same in black in Harvey Nicks. Michelle, if you're watching, get them. Just get them. Get, take this out. So that's one. And I truly am gonna try them on for the first time. They've been in my box for a whole week. Okay, so. They are, because they're Stellas, they're not leather, by the way. Um, and the lovely thick, oh. Ah! I was thinking, gosh, they are quite tight. Sorry, silly me. I'm going to, I wonder how many of you use shoe trees? My mother, bless her, put shoe trees in all her shoes to keep their shape. It's such a good idea. It's getting hold of them, really, that is the ish, oh. Gosh, <gasps> right, okay, so I'm going to need to do a long shot so you can actually see these. I think, this isn't very good, is it? I think you're gonna love them. Right, long shot coming up. They're very elegant and they are extremely comfortable. And I can't wait to wear them with a skirt 
this length. I think a skirt that length will also look fantastic. Right, enough posing around. I am wearing my new boots, which means I'm gonna drive in them, but I'm not gonna drive in them because I ruined the heels. I am going to take my trainers and drive in those and pop these on when I've parked outside their house in Buckinghamshire. I'm not taking Matilda. I used to take Matilda um, when I went out for the day because she would either sleep quite happily in the car if it's mild or I would take her in. But Matilda is very old now. You know anyone that listens to my show, she doesn't like people in this flat when I'm here. She just wants me and her. She becomes very belligerent and she's much happier if I've walked her push her in her pram, um, and then I leave her for a few hours. She just sleeps until I come back. So she'll be fine. I'm in Beaconsfield. This is my dream house. Oh my gosh, this is such a beautiful village. Many of you, I wonder if I've got any subscribers in Beaconsfield. Um, I've just dropped off here because, as I say, I'm going to my friends for lunch. I want to take them a plant or flowers or something. And uh, there is a little market. Here, this is the cutest village. Look at these little houses. So sweet. I love going to local markets. Um, and I don't know, I mean, Beaconsfield, it's probably gonna be as expensive as Marylebone, to be honest. Ah, but there is a plant stall. Let's have a look. Hello, I'm just loving this market. Such a lovely market. You've been before. Never. I come from London, so I haven't been to this market. Yes, quit. You do live here. Oh yes, just down the road. Did you grow up here? Yes. You lucky thing. So this is this has always been your home. Very few people now live where they grew up. So you're very lucky. I probably did live elsewhere when my mum was around. Yes, yes. Around and then I got married. So. And do you find my coat very amusing? <laughs> I think it's very sensible. Oh, thank you. It's very bright. It's lovely and warm. And the, and the inside as well, lovely. Thank you. And I love your lavender jacket and your matching Crocs. Oh, you've made my day. So Hi, nice to meet you. And you. See you again. Bye now. Bye. Bye. Oh, God, I love, I love little old women. Probably because I'm halfway there and my mother is always there as a little old woman. Look at these cheeses. I got two plants that look a bit like cabbages. I love these houses. I mean, Beaconsfield is really commutable. You can get into London very, very quickly. It's taken me about 40 minutes to get here, which is nothing, is it? And you're out in the semi-countryside. So sorry. So sorry I'm late. George, what Hello. are we doing? We are doing a quick recording. Well, not quick, we've probably got a, we've got a nice bit of time going into the auditorium to speak to some of the cast from The Woman in Black for okay. our Halloween special. And this is going on our show? This is going out next week. And um, when do we start recording on the recorder? From the when moment we, we come we're through the stage door? Probably when, yeah, probably as we go Because it's nice to, to get the whole yeah. different sounds yeah. we going. We like the whole build-up. Yeah, exactly. We'll see if the cast are ready and then we'll go from there, I guess. Fantastic. Yeah. Okay, so it's Woman in Black and if you go to BBC Sounds, you can hear the whole of this interview. It will go out 
next week. God, that lighting is horrible. It looks yeah. like you are Halloween. I'm gonna stand here. <laughs> That's a bit better. We're looking forward to this. I'm never late. I'm so sorry. I'm she, she was auditioning was, for me. I was stopped by listeners. Wow. I, I was trying to play your voice now. She said, George, everyone stop me and I had to turn it down. I was so embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> love that sweater. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you. Where's that from? I'm not telling anybody. I love it. Love it. It was last chance to buy when I bought it. No, I love it. Do you think John thinks we're completely mad? Yes, probably. So I'm going to get a 453, go home, then go back in and do my show. This is madness and it's only Wednesday. It's not even a Thursday. Thursday is crazy in the West End. This is mad. I'm Tofia from Mexico and I follow your blog. You follow my YouTube channel. Yeah, I mean your YouTube <laughs> channel, yes, because uh, you, I, I, I can see London through your eyes and I Oh love my that. gosh, yeah. and, and we have to tell everyone that you, are we allowed to say you're a student? I'm yes? a student, I'm yeah. a student at Westminster University, project management. And well, I'm learning. So she's studying just around the corner, but you staying in Bloomsbury? Yeah, I'm staying in Bloomsbury. So yeah. how long are you in London for? Uh, I'm gonna be one year, it's the master's, and then let's wow. see what life brings. And then, yeah, yeah, because with a degree like that, you could work all over the world. I hope. Oh Can you God. sign that for me? <laughs> yeah, no, I'll give you a character reference. Yeah, yeah, You've yeah, got yeah, the please. most amazing skin. Your oh, skin thank is you. fantastic. Oh, thank you. It really is fantastic. Well, maybe it's the water here, who knows? No, the water is so hard <laughs> in London. I've got to race because I've got to go into work. It's so lovely to meet you. Lovely to meet you, Take though. care. Take Thank care. you for coming up. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. How lovely. I've actually had quite a few days of um, meeting subscribers. It just makes my day when I meet subscribers. When I meet subscribers, not listeners. I mean, I love meeting listeners. But subscribers who don't even listen to my radio show just follow me on YouTube. I'm so thrilled. Oh my gosh, so um, I got to, I went to Whole Foods and bought a load of food uh, which cost far more than if I bought it in my local supermarket. Um, the only reason I'm continuing filming is the pink light comes from Conran. Another reason I live in Marylebone, look. And Russian dolls. And look how pretty Conran is. Right, now I really must run. Oh, look. So pretty. So this is the store everybody is talking about. I'm going to come in out of the sun. So um, this is obviously Maribone High Street. We're right by the flower cellar, um, and Lisa is usually there. She's not there today. Um, a couple of you told me about this shop. You emailed and you said, you've got to go to Wise. In fact, one woman said, it's actually saved my life. And I like that drama when it comes to fashion. Um, so if you think this is not even a weekend, this is just a weekday. I don't want to show people's faces, but just literally look how buzzy this is. And what is interesting is this shop is for every generation. They say from 18 to 80. Um, and it was started by a Londoner called Marielle. She started by knitting sweaters very similar to this. She wanted a rainbow sweater and um, she made, she commissioned I think five to be made and was selling them I think in her own home and then it launched. Um, it's wise spelled W-Y-S-E. Just look, they do like the capsule wardrobe. The knits are fantastic and everything sort of mixes and matches. So they do leather trousers, leather jackets, lovely floral dresses, really feminine. Love that.
great. What I love is there's a real sort of lovely atmosphere of just women chatting, shopping, browsing. Just so nice. And I, none of it's manufactured, it's just sort of happened. Every time I turn, I can see something else I love. Look at this. This is what every woman should have. It is a smock top that you can wear with jeans, you can wear with leather trousers, you can wear it with a big cardigan over the top. It's so flattering along the neckline and the sleeves. That's, that's what I've got my eye on. Um, but as I say, look at the lovely knits, and that's what originally she was known for the knitwear. And I just love it. It's like, it's literally like coming into a sort of party, um, height of activity. And when you think this high street has a lot of fashion, um, but it all seems to be happening here. So check them out, have a look at the website, Wise, W-Y-S-E. And whoever told me about it, can I just thank you? because it really is a place to visit. Okay, let's press on. Oh, I don't know what's happening to the lighting there. So this is my uh, standard breakfast, peanut butter. Oh, by the way, this guy, um, Manny Life, he came on my show. He's a London guy who was selling peanut butter from his kitchen, I think. Um, he came on my show. Myself and loads of listeners fell in love with him. He was such a humble guy, and I love his peanut butter. Wow. Mm, 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 So rude. Oh my God, don't speak with your mouth full. To talk to you with my mouth full. Right, the reason I'm filming this early morning section, gosh, I'm going to fully, let's cut this so I can swallow. Okay, right, I've swallowed. Now, uh, the reason I'm filming, I've got up early, not got up early, I've started filming early, is something I have been waiting for for so long that I ordered from Italy has arrived. It's taken six weeks to arrive. It's a cardigan. A cardigan, you may say, Joe, how cosy and comfy. Well, I'm really getting into cardigans. I think cardigans are quite a big deal this winter, according to middle-aged minx. Anyway, I saw um, another YouTuber wearing this cardigan, and I just thought, gosh, that looks so useful. Um, and it could do with all my maxi dresses, because they're long. it's a long, oversized cardigan. And it was on a website called Farfetched. And I don't know if you know anything about Farfetch. This isn't sponsored by Farfetch. <laughs> yeah, I'd love it if it was, but I think you need a million subscribers before they do that. Um, but Farfetch will order uh, products from abroad and you buy them from their website and you don't pay duty on them and tax on them. And that's what I've discovered because ordering directly from Italy, the reason it's taken so long is the import charges, um, which this company very generously paid for me because it's taken so long. Anyway, it's arrived and I'm going to unbox this with you. So, Matilda, you can hear Matilda. Matilda's having her breakfast. In fact, that is her third breakfast. I am really spoiling her. Look at this. Okay, so, no cheating. I will literally show you my first reaction to this unboxing, and it may well be a huge anti-climax. Um, it's from a company called Donned Up, and they're an Italian um, knitwear brand. Okay, I don't know what I've done with my scissors, uh, don't do this at home, kids. Do not use a knife. Ah, for unboxing. Oh, oh, beautifully. Whoops, you knock the camera off. Beautifully wrapped. A lot of people will say too much cardboard, but I can put it all in the recycling bin. So excited. I'm so, I bet. I don't want this to be an anticlimax. And I know you're probably all gonna say, really Joe, all this over a cardigan? But if it's what I want it to be, it will be 
extremely useful for me to wear in the studio when it gets cold or at home when it's chilly over a dress like this, a maxi dress. So, it's like an oatmeal. Over, oh gosh, it's so soft. Look at this. It is exactly what I was hoping it would be. So let me just show you. Oh wow, oh wow, oh wow. I love it. Okay, so I'm gonna go into the um, bedroom and show you a long shot. This is a very cozy cardigan for Joe, but it is alpaca and cashmere and it's just so useful really useful right let me just show you in a long shot like a hand knit and over long maxi dresses i love the back i don't think you can see the back this is when i live on my own i can't get people to film this um but it's something i can wear when i don't want to wear a coat you know how i i hate coats um i can wear it over jeans i can wear it over summer dresses on a chilly summer night, but in the winter, over maxis, literally over my dungarees, I just, I absolutely love it. Have you ever heard so much excitement over basically a chunky cardigan? But it is a beautifully, beautifully designed, look at it, chunky gar cardigan. Look at the sleeves. I am so pleased with this and it is so warm. So I want to be cosy and warm and glamorous. Um, right, going in the other room. Hello, Matilda. You come to join us. Thank you. Um, all the mess. I think cardigans are very much this winter's must have. Um, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for getting me a little bit closer to 29,000 subscribers. Thank you for stopping me in the street when you see me. Oh, I love it. Three people came up to me this week who follow this vlog um, and only one of them did I have my camera with me. But usually I have my camera with me and I will always film you if you don't mind. Um, thank you for your comments. Thank you for answering each other's comments. If you're watching this this Sunday, tomorrow night, my whole radio show comes from this flat. It's uh, once a month we do Joe's house party, we broadcast from this flat. So try and join us. If you've missed it, go to BBC Sounds. That's Matilda padding around. I don't look, do I just look too cosy? I do look, do I look glamorous and cosy? Please say yes. Leave a comment, you'll be honest, you always are. And I appreciate your honesty. Okay, lots of love, bye for now.